first thing to think about, you see I've left my socks on, that just helps your feet slide into the suit. Um, and a few other admin things, just make sure you've got nice short nails. It's ever so easy with a wetsuit to leave fingernail marks in it when you're pulling it up. So if you try and use the pads of your fingers and pull the suit, you'll see people wearing gloves or putting bags on their hands. You don't need to do that as long as you're careful. So first step, and hopefully I'll make this look easy, is to get your legs in. So one leg at a time. And again, just spend a little bit of time pull the knee clean up the legs. If you don't get the suit far enough up your legs, then once you get the upper body in, it'll make it pull down. So it's worth spending just a few moments, and you'll probably find you need to start at the bottom of the leg, bring the neoprene up, and keep doing that. And you see, I'm using the pads of my fingers, not pulling it with my nails, which hopefully means I won't put any fingernail marks in this suit. And once you've got it worked up as much as you can, then you can start to look at the upper body. Um, so you see, I've got as much of the material up over my hips as I can. Now the same with the arms, so if you do it one arm at a time, it's always easier on a cool day, so the suit doesn't start sticking to you. And then bring the material up your arms as much as you can into your shoulders, and then wiggle it at the back. Now this is the point where, although you can zip them up on your own, it's much easier to have somebody to help you do it. So I'm just going to get Sam to zip that up for me. go and so it should make a nice seal around the neck and there you go that's your suit on